I warmly welcome all of you to the Speaking English Lecture series, which has been designed by the International Association for Quality Education, along with South Asian International Association for Early Childhood Care and Development, in order to provide support to everyone who is keen in developing their communicational skills. I'm Dishan Jagannathan, Operational Leader of International Association for Quality Education. And I'll be briefing you on lesson A, which is on simple future tense. The series has been designed under the guidance of Mr. Janaka Kamal Goda, the president of International Association for Quality Education and president of South Asian International Association for Early Childhood Care and Development. The Sustainable Development Goals of this organization is to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. The purpose of organizing this online lecture series is to improve communication skills in English and to overcome challenges in the global society. Let's now move into the lesson. The subjects we've discussed so far are I, you, we, they, he, she, and it. What is a verb? Verb is an action that we perform. A verb is any type of action. Reading, write, read, write, psyche, sleep, fight, play, so on, and so on. The type of sentences that we've been discussing so far are positive sentence, negative sentence, positive question, and negative question. First, we'll look at positive sentences in detail. The structure of a positive sentence in future tense is given by Subject plus shall or will plus the verb. I will play, she will cook, they will study. This is some event which is going to happen in the near future, which has not yet occurred, but will be happening. The verbs are play, cook and study. Further subjects I and we, which are first person subjects, we will be using shall or will plus verb with place and time. And for subjects you, they, he, she, and it, we will use will plus verb with place and time. So it will be as you will play. They will play, he will play, she will play, it will play. Let's look at some examples. I will play cricket tomorrow morning in the garden. The subject is I, followed by will or shall, plus verb is play, object is cricket. We will study English next Saturday at home or we shall study English next Saturday at home. We is the subject followed by will plus the verb study and English is the object. You will meet Mr. Fernando at the office tomorrow. You is the subject will and the verb is meet. They will attend the meeting next Monday in your office. He will play the piano at the dinner party next weekend. She will visit Candy next four day. The cat will make a noise even tonight. 
Let's move on to negative sentences. The structure of the negative sentence in future tense goes as subject plus shall not or shan't or will not or won't plus the verb shall not or will not. So we could look at the examples now. I will not play or you could also say it as I won't play. She will not cook or she won't cook. They will not study or they won't study. The negative sentences emphasize an event which will not happen. So the structure of the negative sentences is given below. For the subjects I and we, we either use shan't or won't, that is shall not or will not, plus verb with place and time. And for rest of the subjects, which are you, they, he, she, and it, we use will not, the contracted form is won't, plus verb with place and time. The sentences given below are I will not play cricket tomorrow morning in the garden. The subject is I, followed by will not, or you could also use a contracted form won't, plus the verb is play and the object is cricket. Likewise, we will not study English next Saturday at home. We is the subject plus will not, and study is the verb and English is the object. You will not meet Mr. Fernando at the office tomorrow. Or you could also read it as you won't meet Mr. Fernando at the office tomorrow. They won't attend the meeting next Monday in your office. He won't play music at the dinner party next weekend. She won't visit Candy next foyer day. The cat won't make a noise even tonight. So the formation is subject plus shall not or will not plus verb followed by the object with place and time. Next we'll move to positive questions. While forming questions, the questions begin with either shall or will. So the form, is, form goes as structure is shall or will plus subject plus verb. Shall I play? Will she cook? Will they study? So questioning an event which is about to happen. The structure of positive questions in future tense. For the subjects I and we, we could make use of shall. So it goes as shall plus the subject I or we plus verb with place and time. And for the other subjects, which are you, they, he, she, and it, we begin the question with will. So it is will plus the subject you, they, he, she, it, plus verb with place and time. There are some examples given here for further understanding. Let's go through them. Shall I play cricket tomorrow morning in the garden? So the question begins with shall, followed by the subject I, and the verb is play. Will we study English next Saturday at home? The question begins with will plus subject we and the verb study. Will you meet Mr. Fernando at the office tomorrow? The question begins with will plus the subject you and meet is the verb. Will they attend the meeting next Monday in your office? 
Will he play the piano at the dinner party next weekend? Will she visit Candy next boy day? Will the cat make a noise even tonight? Now we'll go through negative questions. The structure of negative questions in future tense is given by shan't or won't plus subject plus verb. So an example would be shan't I play cricket tomorrow or won't she cook next Sunday? Won't they come home next weekend? Keep in mind we always use the contracted form while making negative questions. So it begins with either shan't or won't. The structure of the negative questions in future tense is given by shall not or shan't plus I or V would be used for the subject plus verb with place and time. Won't plus you, they, he, she, or it. For these subjects, we use won't plus subject plus verb with place and time. The examples for negative questions. Shan't I play cricket tomorrow morning in the garden? Shan't we study English next Saturday at home? Won't you meet Mr. Fernando at the office tomorrow? Won't they attend the meeting next Monday in your office? Won't he play the piano at the dinner party next weekend? Won't she visit Candy next foyer day? Won't the cat make a noise even tonight? So the questions begin with either shan't or won't plus the subject and verb. Let's summarize what we've learned in this lesson. So in positive sentences for future tense, it's subject plus either will or shall plus the verb. I will go to school tomorrow at 7.30. They will work in the office next Sunday. Limal will study in a new class starting next month. Negative sentences. I will not go to school tomorrow at 7.30. They will not work in the office next Sunday. Nimal will not study in a new class starting next month. And the positive questions. Shall I go to school tomorrow at 7.30? Will they work in the office next Sunday? Will Nimal study in a class starting next month? In positive questions, the questions either begin with shall or will, followed by the subject and, sorry, the questions begin with shall or will, followed by the subject plus the verb. Negative questions begin with either shan't or won't, followed by the subject plus the verb. And always make sure to use the contracted forms. So the examples are, shan't I go to school tomorrow at 7.30? Won't they work in the office next Sunday? Won't Nimal study in a new class starting next month? Assessment and evaluation. Visit us on the given web link. Go to the Speak in English lecture series. Follow the guidance to complete the assessment process. Watch the next lesson to become fluent in English. Thank you for joining and have a nice day. So high up here
hypnotized What's up is down, what's left is right Chasing stars and holding view I can't see the end, but we'll see it through 